Good morning, students. I want to welcome you once again to the second lecture on Blondes theorem that is starting with a Blondes theorem. What is actually Blondes theorem? Blondes theorem only says that uh, if you have n number of lines, that you need n minus one number of one uh, of watt meters to determine the total power in the measured in the transmission system. This goes for every form of a, a watt meter reading. That is, uh, I'm talking, it, depends, it, it goes for every form of connection, whether it is a balanced system or unbalanced system. You can use a Blondes theorem to measure power in the transmission line to determine the total power in the load. Now, how do we prove Blondes theorem? Let's take, for example, that we have a system that is star connected load says it has star connected load and uh, you have a watt watt meter placed on on line a and uh, c for example let's assume you have what was meter connected to line A and C where the voltage leg of the two watt meters, the voltage leg of the coils are connected to the free line, line B. This is watt meter A and this is watt meter C. Now, how do you prove Blondes theorem? What we actually want to prove is this is load, this is the load. What we want to prove is that the total power that is measured from this line is equal to the, from these two lines, is equal to the total power that is being consumed by the load. And that you do, let's stick like the total power in the lines are WA and WC. Those are the total power in the line, right? which of course is equal to the total power, the power consumed by WA is equal to the voltage across WA, which is the voltage what VAB, VAB, which is the voltage, the higher potential is A, and the lower potential is leg is connected to B. So this is VAB. Then the voltage across here also is what is connected to C and B, which is VCB. So if you want to determine the power reading in this wattmeter, it has to be the voltage across times the current IA that is flowing. That's then with the, uh, 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 where you find these two, it tells you this the power that is flowing. You get the magnitude of the power. Of course, we know that uh, the power, total power reading here is the voltage current times the power factor. So to determine the magnitude reading, we use this, the voltage across times the current, which is WA is VABIA plus what is the voltage reading here? VCB, then the current flowing through this is IC, which is IC. So that's it tells you that is the power reading in these two watt meters. Now, let's split it. Voltage in AB is equal to VAB. We know VAB itself is VAN minus VBN. Let me quickly put that into perspective. The voltage across here, this point is assumed to be the neutral point. Right, so the voltage across here 
to this point is supposed to be VAN, right? So VAN, so from VAN, they are devoted from here to here to be then from it will be VNC. That is if you want to determine uh, let no let's deal with uh, A and B now. V A N plus V N B will give you V A B. That means V A B is equal to V V A B is equal to V A V A N plus V N B plus V N B. Right. Which is equal to V A N minus B B N. So that is your V A B. So this is where we come to this. Then if you then we now have we have our V A B to be this. Our V C B likewise is supposed to be that is V C B is supposed to be V C N. V C B is supposed to be what? VC the voltage across here plus the voltage across which is VC N plus V N B. So V C B will then be what V C N minus V B N. So V C N minus V B N. Right. So we have this voltage spread out. So now when we find our Total watt meter reading VA WA plus WC is supposed to be when you substitute this into V, we have VAN minus VBN into IA plus VCB, which is what? VCN minus VBN into IC. Right. So, if you expand this, for example, if you expand this, what do you have? You have V A N I A minus minus V B N I A plus V C N I C minus V B N I see that is if you expand this then what does that where does that leave you that leaves you with what it leaves you with if you if you if you if you look at uh, in the star connected system where which is well in the star connected system in the star connected system in the star connected system you have Let's take the insertion IA plus IB plus IC is equal to zero. That is the current going in that is using cash of store in the balance system. It is equal to zero. Then we now have what your I because we don't have the current flowing in IB. No what meter on IB. So sorry, no I what meter in IB. So we can and it is these two that we are contending with. So we can now decide to find our I B as a subject of the formula minus I E minus I C. That is our I B. So if you substitute this into this, what do you have? We now have this to be equal to what? V A N I A V A N I A then if you put this this one if you look at this very well you have you can put you can bring this out you can bring this one out and make it we have the V A N and A you can have plus if you if you bring minus i a and the minus i c vbn is common to them 
right so this will leave what v a n i a plus this one i minus i a minus i c is equal to i b so that is i b b n i b so that tells you that uh, what we are trying to determine w a w We now have uh, that is we now have W A W V A N I A plus V B N V I B. Then we now have this one, which is V C N I C. So that gives you the complete view, which is V A and I A V A N I A is the power that is flowing in this load that is consumed by this load PA. PB is consumed by this load. PC is consumed by this load. So this is VANIA, VBNIB, VCNIC. So this will be PA plus PB plus PC, which is exactly the blunder theorem that we are talking about. Thank you.